Good morning, guys. So um, my pantry is coming along. If you have happened to have caught some of my videos, you would know that this was just full of canned goods. And I have been slowly moving them over here because they go in order. And uh, so today I am going to go to the grocery store and spend some money. But I wanted to show you what I'm going to be making. Let me grab this yeast over here. We'll come into the kitchen. So um, we still are using our popcorn. It's going really well. Um, we're using, where did it go? We're using our little popcorn maker. These are very cheap on Amazon. And we have had popcorn a ton of times, and it hardly, the bag has gone down because you just put this little bit right here, and then it makes this whole thing of popcorn. So we're going to have some of that tonight when we um, watch movies. We're going to rest a little bit tonight, and I will be cooking, you know, and taking things in and out of the oven. But anyway, um, I'm going to make this homemade spaghetti sauce. It's not my version i do have a version that i probably like better it has a few more ingredients in it but i have all the tomato sauce and all the tomato paste and i'm going to go ahead and double the batches on this so the only thing that i will need for this that i don't have let's see i've got a red onion i do not have a yellow onion i don't know if i want to put red onion in my spaghetti sauce so anyway I'm going to be stocking up on ground beef today just because that's like the missing ingredient that I have for a ton of recipes. I have everything I need. Like I would put red onion in my chili. So I have a red onion that I really better use up. And um, then I'm going to make this spaghetti sauce. So I'm going to buy the onions and the ground beef. And I'll probably do um, the half Italian sausage and half ground beef. Actually, Italian sausage is cheaper right now. So that's one reason. Then I'm going to make at least one loaf of homemade bread. I might even make two. This is slightly expired, but it worked um, a week ago when I made bread. It was great. So I'm going to use this just for us. Um, but yeah, it, it worked fine. Then I have this whole jar of Frank's Kraut. It is unexpired. So I might buy the, so I am going to buy the kielbasa and I might either make this for potluck or we'll just eat it ourselves. So all I need for this recipe is an onion and kielbasa. And then I have made a recipe in the past that also had a green apple and a little bit of brown sugar. So I think I'm going to doctor that one up a little bit so it tastes better. Um, I already have the green apple. I had bought that to go with like a wild rice recipe and then we never ended up making it. So now I got to find that recipe again. I don't know where it went. Then I do have some mayonnaise in the fridge that is getting close to expiration here and so I am going to make a couple of chocolate cakes I just want to rotate my mayonnaise here I've got two or three of them and I just like that is like especially one thing I like to rotate so I'm going to be um you know making some chocolate cakes I have I think everything else on hand I just need to buy some more cocoa just because I, I use that every morning in my chocolate milkshakes that I make, my protein shakes. Um, it's like a slim and trim knockoff recipe from um, Smoothie King. If you've never looked it up, there are knockoff recipes and it's really healthy, but it uses a lot of cocoa. So I have that on my grocery list anyway. But, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of these. Um, well, I'll, I'll actually probably take one for potluck tomorrow. And then I'll put one in my freezer. And mayonnaise chocolate cake, I am telling you, people will ask you why it's so moist. And so if you have leftover mayonnaise, this takes about a cup. Sometimes I, you know, substitute half sour cream if I have some sour cream that needs used up. But it's a great recipe. You could use even cottage cheese, maybe blend it up a little bit better. But any kind of thing like that, cream cheese, sour cream, mayonnaise, or cottage cheese, yogurt, they all work on this exact same recipe. And people always, like that will be gone tomorrow. Like people just love that recipe. Um... Then I am still trying to use up the creamed corn. Remember, if you happen to have remembered before, um, 
if you've watched any of my videos, we had a gentleman whose wife passed away and his eyesight is not good enough for him to cook. So he just gave us a ton of stuff since my husband is a pastor and that is a great blessing. But we have about two cans, maybe three, uh, cream style. No, we have, we have three or four in there of the cream style corn left because that must have been a favorite of his and he you know I mean I think he gave us maybe 15 cans of unexpired cream corn and um, I did eat that growing up and I actually like a can of cr cream corn I really do but I'm trying to you know not just eat straight cream corn so anyway this recipe is actually very good and I've taken it to potluck once or twice and um, so I'm going to maybe make this or I've also been making this, these griddle corn cakes. And then um, we just put honey on it. And I'm trying to think. i got to check my stock of honey here. Let's see. Yeah, we still have a whole thing of honey that we kind of need to rotate. You can tell it's getting kind of stuck up on the sides there. So um, I might just make the griddle corn cakes and... Um, I won't use all four cans of the cream style corn. I won't get that rotated. It It's not even close to expiration, so it's fine. I, there is no real hurry. But, um, or I might make one in one. If I make this, I would have to buy some ingredients. I would need some Parmesan cheese and the buttery crackers. So this will be a more expensive choice than this. On this one, I think I have everything that I need for it. So maybe for this week, since I am going to be spending some money at the store, I'll wait on that one. And then I have everything I need for this. I have a ton of pumpkin pie mix that I had intended to use. Um, I got two or three cans of it on sale for 29 cents, like in September. Never used it. I thought I would just be baking for the holidays and then just, you know, a series of events. I just never got around to it. So I believe I have everything here. I know I have everything except maybe I might need some sugar since I'm making the, let's see, does this have sugar in it even? Yeah, this has sugar on the chocolate mayonnaise cake. So I may not have enough sugar for both recipes, so I have to check my stock and I may have to buy that. But anyway, as you can see, um, I'm, I mean, we still have just a ton of food that we're eating out of our pantry. Um, I did spend, if you watched my last video, it's actually really documented, like, with the receipts shown, so you would have to go look there, but I, you know, I've really been trying to buy the least amount that I can to make sure that we're not wasting food and make sure that we're rotating stuff, um, so anyway, guys, that is kind of my low spend plan for today, it's not a no spend, I do have, um, a grocery list going, um, I need some Zyrtec. I'm going to start trying to see if that helps with just, because we love our doggy, but we have a dog and a cat. And, um, you know, I want to make sure that I'm, um, you know, not allergic to it. I'm trying to just wash our bedding a lot. But um, let's see. And so here's some stuff we need. I uh, do bring my suitcase home from traveling so much. So as I've spoken about before, I keep bed bug spray on hand just in case I spray down my suitcase when I get home from all my trips. I've learned not to put my suitcase on the floor of the hotel and the hotels I stay in, they seem nice, but it just happens and I just don't want that to happen. So um, this is all relatively inexpensive stuff. And then, of course, on here, you're going to have the hamburger. You're going to have the Italian sausage. And this this here, I'm going to make like three or four batches of this so that we have it in the freezer. And I'm going to mark it really good, put it in freezer bags, and hopefully have a couple months worth of homemade spaghetti sauce in there. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's kind of my plan for today. I need to get my work done. I need to work until about noon or 1 today on eBay. And then I'm going to take two days off. I won't do any work tomorrow except just customer questions, um, you know, because I just want to enjoy um, the day. So starting about noon, we'll go to the grocery store. We're just going to take a nice drive, get out of town, um, run to the Kroger grocery store where stuff's cheaper. And then I love to cook. If you don't love to cook, don't do it. Don't do this. Just do it maybe temporarily and then clean out your pantry and then figure out something that is in it 
inexpensive, but a little bit more convenient. But for me, when I have time, I love to cook. So for me, this is not stressful or not work. But don't feel pressured that you have to cook. If it's not a hobby of yours or you don't love it, then just maybe temporarily to save money, not throw away food. You may have to do it to kind of rotate some things out. But then, you know, there's all kinds of somewhat inexpensive, somewhat healthy packaged food um, that you can do. You know, you can also find a teenager who loves to cook. If I really had to give up cooking, if I could not fit it in, um, I cooked from the time I was 12, and I did a very good job, kept my kitchen clean, knew all the food prep rules, and, you know, tied my hair up, and, you know, if I'm really cooking for someone else, um, Find a teenager or someone who loves to cook and, you know, let them have like, you know, half the chocolate cake and yet you're buying the ingredients, you know, that kind of thing. There are a thousand solutions to kind of saving money. So, um, yeah, since I talked to you last on my last video, I have not spent a dime since that oil change. I think we're going on three days where I haven't spent anything. Oh, and the best thing happened too. My purse is not up here. I should have grabbed it, but um, they called from the doctor's office a couple days ago and I hadn't been in there for like over two months. So at first I'm like, okay, you know, what are they calling me for? Um, Cause I knew I'd paid my copay or whatever. But um, anyway, uh, I guess that if you have your normal yearly things that you're supposed to have when you're 53, that they enter you in a drawing so we actually won a little $25 gift certificate to the um, ice cream store in town the ice cream shop and so that'll be a great treat that'll really stretch our budget if we want to go have a treat either tonight or tonight I'm making you know cake and all this stuff so we probably don't need more ice cream but um, sometime this week when we just need to get out but we don't want to spend a lot of money we can go have a little date there and so that was a great blessing too um, okay guys thank you so much for watching my low spend no spend videos and I hope you're doing well on yours take care bye bye